Hello everyone, this is going to be a Butcher Kill video. So he's a really easy boss, uh, Act 1 boss. He has like four or five abilities he uses. Um, number one, he has a, uh, a melee attack, um, which is just that normal swing. He also has uh, another more powerful melee attack. Uh, that right there is his charge, just get out of the way and he'll run himself into a wall. He has that multi-spike attack that you just saw. He has that hook, which he charges up, uh, which you just saw. If he gets you with that, he'll pull you in and chop the bejesus out of you. Um, I'll let him grab me next time he does his hook. Um, it's kind of painful, but I'll survive. So here's his hook. Um, he just chops you, and it's not particularly comfortable, but it's lovable. Um, there's his kind of hopping chop that I mentioned. And aside from that, the only thing that you kind of have to worry about is uh, the floor. Uh, the floor turns fiery, and if you stand in it, you take some damage. So that's really all there is to uh, the Butcher fight. Oh, I'm actually getting kind of low. I'm playing kind of careless today. Um, but where I'm only on Torment 2, he doesn't really have that much life. So, uh-oh. Ow. That was a little hurtful. Wow, how did he get me with that? Oh well, whatever. Not uh, not the best kill video I've ever done. Um, I didn't really put all of my care into killing him, but that's uh, that's the basis of the fight. Um, again, this is a he's he's a mid-range boss. Most bosses in this game tend to do really well at mid-range. Uh, if you're a barb or stuff, um, the only thing you need to do is kind of like dodge his uh, his hook attack. Um, which he really doesn't use much if you're not at range. Alright, good luck guys. Stay out of fire.